let P be a two digit number and Q be the number consisting of same digits written in reverse order. If PQ is equal to 2430, then what is the difference between P and Q? Here, in this type of questions, always take the prime factors of the product. That is here product is 2430. So, prime factors are 2 goes 1, 2, 1, 5 times. Again, 3 goes 4, not 5 times. Again, 3 goes 1, 3, 5 times. Again, 3 goes 45 times. Again, 3 goes 15 times. Again, 3 goes 5 times. Now, we have taken the prime factors. Now, 5 into 3, 15. 15 into 3, 45. 45 into 3 again is a 3 digit number. So, take 45. We need 2 digit number. Again, 3 cube is 27. 27 into 2 is 54. So, the condition fits in this numbers well. That is, 54 is a reverse of the digit 45, 4 and 5. Now, difference between 54 and 45 is 9. So, option D is your answer. That is, difference between P and Q is 9. Let's check another example for this. That is, 12 into 21 is 252. This is in the form of P into Q is 252. Now, take the prime factors of 252. 2 goes 1, 2, 6 times. Again, 2 goes 6, 3 times. Again, 3 goes 21 times. Again, 3 goes 7 times. Now, you can see 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 3, 12. Again, 7 into 3 is 21. Now, 21 into 12 is 252. So, here option D is your answer. Let's do this question in different method as well. Here, 0 is in unit place. That means, unit place of P or Q is 5. Here, 0 is not an option. If you take one number as x0, you cannot take other number as 0x because both are two digit numbers. So, 0 is not an option. Now, if you take 5 as a unit place, then the other number should be an even number because 5 into an even number leads to 0 here. So, if I take P as x5, then Q is 5x. Now, the product is 2430. In two digit multiplication, you know the left hand side numbers 5 into x plus whatever the remainder that is 5x plus remainder is the left hand side digits that is 24 here. Now the other digit that is x should be an even number. x should be an even number because 5 into an even number leads to 0 here. So here if I put 6 you can see 5 into 6 is 30 that is greater than 24. So x can be 2 or 4 here. So the numbers can be 52 and 25 or 54 and 45. Now, if you look at this, 50 into 20 is 1000. So, 52 into 25 less than 2000. So, this is not an option. Here, 54 into 45 is the correct answer because 50 into 40 is 2000. So, this is the correct answer. So, here if you take the difference, 9 is the difference. So, option D is your answer. So, either you can do this way or you can take the prime factors of the product here.